Right, hopefully you can see this. <laughs> I hope, otherwise this will be a, a non-event for the video. So we're gonna do a global IR test here on all these circuits. Now, so I've got it all set up. So I'm gonna do a 250 volt test. You don't have to do 500 volt anymore. So we're gonna do 250. Now, you've gotta do R1, RN, R1, R2. We'll do the R1, R2 first on each individual circuit. And we'll get it up on here and we'll see how we go. So, let's get me cables around the right way. So we're gonna put one probe on the earth bar, like so, one probe on the top, it's all off by the way. One probe on the top of the circuit we're going to test. First button. That one's greater than 2000, that's fine. That's the, that's the, whoops. First circuit, next one. Greater than 2000, that's fine. On to the storage heater now. Storage heater is rather sorry. Now I've got a different reading, 1426. So it does show that we're setting each circuit. It's not a case, it's just going to go blank at 2000 all the way across. So that's storage heating, immersion heater, 242.1. Now, that's fine. There are the lights. Greater than 2000, which is fine. We've got lights again. Two hundred fifty-seven point nine. That's okay. Still a bit. It's a lower, but it's fine. Sockets now. Four hundred seventy-four point one. So they're all passes. As you can see, they're, they're all different values. So let's take those off now. Let's do the line to line to neutral. We're a little bit more fine games trying to do this. That's fine. Next one. That's fine. Storage heater. One five four two for the storage heater. Line to immersion. Whoops. Now it gave me a warning. One micro ohm is fine. Um, but I do know on this particular circuit we've got some DC current stuff and some um, neon lights on switches. That could interfere with the readings that I've got on here. So I do know that line to neutral can be an issue with IR. So it's a pass. Um, you'd normally investigate that, but I already know that there's neon switches and things on this particular circuit. So I'm not really surprised that I'm getting a, an odd reading on there. So we'll go on to the lights. Those lights are fine. Now these are the lights, <clears throat> those are the kitchen lights. These are the other lights around the room. Again, I've got a feeling, yeah, I'm not gonna get a good reading here, no. The, the lights on this circuit, I've got um, LEDs, I've got uh, under cabinet 12 volt lights. It, it's gonna interfere with this um, and I can't really disconnect those. So an R1 RN is not gonna be possible on, on a couple of those circuits. Um, so I'll put that down as a limitation. It is a, it is a known thing where IR test is, I can't disconnect the lights, I can't do that, and I can't disconnect a lot of the other bits and pieces. Do the sockets. Okay, sockets are fine. So we know it's all passed and everything else. Um, and there's a reason why I'm getting a, 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 an odd reading on the line and neutral for these two particular circuits, because I know that there's things on those circuits that could interfere with the readings for R1, RN. So I'm not overly concerned about that, but I will make a note anyway. Anyway, so that's how you do the IR on the board. Um, and that is it on there. So we'll take that down. 
and that should be fine.